Hey you guys, it's me, Cynthia, I am she, and look what I got today. My friend gave this to me, and I love it. It'll go on my wall with my other towels. Um, I did not get to go to this game. I don't know which game this was. But I did get to go to two playoff games, but this is the coolest towel out of the ones I have. So this morning, um, today was Friday, the 25th of May, I went to Walmart. And I got two of these babies. Western Conference Champs, is that what it says? I'm not sure what it says. But Stanley Cup Finals. And I think they're both the same. Yeah, Western Conference Champs. So I got two of those. Actually, I got three, but the second I went to work and opened up my big mouth, uh, my coworker Stefan wanted to buy the cup for me. So the third cup, which one is for me, one is for Mark, and I bought one for a Christmas present, probably for my nephew Connor. But um, uh, Stefan bought the cup. So I hope he enjoys it because I accidentally sold it to him for less than I bought it for. I thought they were $14.95 and they were 17 something. All right, so I got two of these, one for me and one for probably Connor. Um, yeah. And two of those. And I got a bunch of stickers, they're all the same. Um, I guess I'll hand these out to various family members who want them. And then I got some gold duct tape. Some pink glitter glue, some more gold duct tape, <laughs> and I think that is it. Yeah, um, well, I have like so much stuff now, so much stuff for just becoming a fan a month ago. I have tons of stuff, so um. I'm very excited about that. We're going to the land this weekend, so, um, River is a disaster. What are you doing with your wife? What is wrong with your fur? It's usually smooth and shiny. Oh my God, is he growing old fur? He's like six. <gasps> Booger, are you getting old? Are you getting old? No, oh, he's seven. Yeah, we got him December of 2011. Aw, baby. You're getting old. Look at your old fur. No, he's getting that old, oh, mommy. That's old fur right there. Yeah. Old fur. Look at all those legs. Look at those little legs. I love them. Cynthia, I am she. Wow, I am a windy mess. Is there a way to do this with no, uh, what do you call it? Glare. Um, we are at the RV at our land. Ugh. I'm wearing, um, I'm supporting my team even out in the Arizona desert. So we're out here today, Saturday. The playoff games, not playoff, the finals start on Monday, Memorial Day. I don't know what day, date that is, um, but 2018. So we are out at the land, like I just said, I can't even, and I'm reading my, oh my God, this is, 
I've literally had this book since 1995, since my son was born. And... Did he already come back? No, he didn't. Why do I hear motors so close? There aren't any streets around here. I don't know. Um, it's Robert Jordan. The Wheel of Time series. And my son's dad was reading this when we first met. And I think he was only on like book four. And I started reading. I was a stay-at-home mom. So while I... To his kid. I didn't have mine yet. Um... I was bored out of my mind because it's like the worst job I ever had and uh, there was nothing to do. Like there's only, when three people live in a house, there's only so much cleaning you can do. That's him coming back. Why is he coming back so fast? Not no, he's just riding up and down the street. Is that him? No. Anyway, so I started reading the series, and um, I never stopped. Well, I mean, like, wait. I did stop. Um, I don't need these on while I'm not reading, right? Um, I have all of the books in the series, but I actively stopped reading at book 10. Book 10. They're all this thick. And this is the size of the font. The type. It's teeny tiny. So these are like, how many pages? This one is like 813 pages, the first book. And well, wait, there's a glossary in the back. I think the glossary fell out though. Yeah, I think the glossary has since fallen out of the back of the book. Anyway, unless it's at the front of the book. I'm reading the front of the book. Ugh, Cynthia. So what I've been doing is just this past week, every now and then I get a hair up my butt and I want to start the series over again because most of the se most of the time I was reading the series, I was drunk. I don't mean like actively drunk slurring my words. I mean drunk brain, like have a hangover. That's why I'm sitting still enough to read. And you can't, you can't process and retain information when you have a hangover. So the whole time I was reading this series, I had drunk brain. So I want to restart it. I'm restarting it. Um, I've been sober for 11 years. And I, I just can't sit down and reread the series to catch up. I still have... I'm on book 10. I'm starting over from book 1. Um, I'm on book 10, but there are... 14 books in the series after Robert Jordan died of cancer I think in like 2013 or something um, his wife and co-author or best friend or something um, finished the series and since then um, just recently actually this year in 2018 Amazon bought the right to make a TV series out of it. So it, this series is going to be a series on Amazon. And I am so excited about that. <clears throat> um, I wanted to name one of my dogs Rand Althor. <laughs> um, I have dreams of becoming uh, probably Egwin on, um, in a movie. I think I'm most like Egwin. Egwene, I think her name, every time I listen to the, an audio book with a different, uh, okay, by the way, I'm going like berserko, um, I'm listening, I'm currently listening to the audio book on YouTube for free. There are really good versions that are like professional and then there are like regular people like me reading you a chapter a day. But um, I go for the professional, obviously, uh, versions because they're professional and they're good. And, like, uh, book one is eight hours long, eight and a half hours long. So I'm two hours into it, 
And out here in the middle of the desert, I don't have Wi-Fi. So um, I have my physical book one. So I can finish, I pick up where I left off on my audio book on YouTube. So that's how I'm doing that. And um, this is the blue marker, not the green one. The blue marker is where three hours of reading gets you. That's, that's not, um, it's less than 100 pages. I think... I'm on page 96. So this is three hours of reading right there. Um, and audio booking. Um, other than that, I didn't bring any crochet. Um, my fingers really, really do hurt. So I'm trying to limit the crochet to nighttime only. So if I can't occupy my time reading or crystal hunting, um... I'll have to find something else to do. I don't know what else I would do. Um, I do, really do want to take a long nap. But, anyway. Um, is he coming back again? There's this. There's that dog right there. You're being cheeky. Don't cry. Don't cry in a corner. Just don't sit there crying. And what are you huffing and puffing about, mister? Hmm? So cute. Also, um, I was taking a walk out front and I saw a crow crowing at something. And I saw that it was chasing a bird. It was chasing the giant crow was chasing a giant hawk. In the sky above me I did not have my camera it was amazing um, nobody got hurt I thought the crow was gonna eat the hawk because it was way bigger and it was it was a giant it was like a giant fight in the sky but it turns out that the crow just wanted the hawk to go away um, she chased her I'm assuming it's the mama um, chase that hawk all the way down to the end of the street. So, um, she didn't hurt the hawk. But they were flying in synchronicity. Is that a thing that you do? Um, every movement they were doing, the other one was mimicking at the same time. Like they were hooked up. It was so strange and so awesome. I feel like I, I saw something I wasn't supposed to see. And I was so sorry I didn't have the camera um, so I could video it to show you guys because when's the last time you saw a crow in a hawk fight? <laughs> like, uh, I could host my own crow and hawk fight uh, TV show. Charge. Charge on pay-per-view. Is pay-per-view even around anymore? Um, well, I'm going to go and um, live my RV life. He's a... Uh... I think he's coming. What is he doing? That's not our driveway. Where's our driveway? Nope, he's still just driving up and down the street. Alright, well if I can find anything naturistic, nature related to show you guys besides trees that I've shown you a million times. Oh, we brought, um... <laughs> This is how cute Mark is. On our way here, he stopped at Albertsons and we got um, tons of carrots. Tons of carrots. So, uh, two, four, six pounds of carrots for the horses or cows or whatever comes our way. We'll be ready. We'll be ready with the nutritious snacks for them. And, uh, that's it. Oh, check this out. Um, the people across the street are building their house. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, my glasses are falling off my head. I'm gonna go read with my, uh, old eyes. And, uh, if I see anything, I'll let you know.
Okay, bye.